640, welcome back. Back in April, KX News reported on Mike Honeyman from Minot. He was in a car accident in July of 2018, leaving him with a traumatic brain injury, making him unable to walk, talk, and much more. But new this morning, Becky Farr was able to sit down with him and his wife to get an update on just how far he's come in the past 14 months. Good morning, Becky. Yes, good morning, Alicia. The last time I caught up with Mike's wife, Robin, was about five months ago. At that time, it had been nine months since Mike's accident, and I didn't get to meet him as he was still in Nebraska in recovery treatment. But this time, I finally got to meet him. He came home to Minot on May 10th, and the milestones just keep on coming. Oh my gosh, a ton has changed since then. For example, uh, Mike and Robin had a wedding ceremony. His daughter graduated high school, and they've been able to get back to a lot of the things they used to do, like camping, fishing, and concerts. We're not going to stop doing those things that were important to us before. We just modify how we, how we do it and roll with the punches. Yeah. Mike is improving all the time thanks to his busy schedule. He's got physical and occupational therapy three times a week, speech therapy twice a week, and he goes to hyperbarics in Fargo as much as he's able to get there. What do I call you when you're, when you're in the hyperbaric chamber? I'm a test, test, test tube baby. Because <laughs> he's in a tube, it's just in a tube and then there's oxygen and it's under pressure and then it um, is supposed to help the brain and the body heal. The fact that he can talk is a big deal too. A year ago, a major milestone was the fact that he could swallow on his own. Today, he's doing so much more. How about your clothes? Who puts your clothes on? Me. You do, right? So being able to dress himself and yep, you wash your face, you put on your deodorant yourself, right? Because I don't have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Although the couple is still adjusting to a different way of life, they're doing it together and with the help of many loved ones along the way. Plus, Mike is working hard to be able to make it to Stanley for the fall sport he loves to coach. Is there anything that you're looking forward to? Wrestling. And when I met with him, he said he's got a special shout out for some of his favorite people. My sisters. Ellie and Lindsay, I miss them. Yeah, what about Austin and Brent? I miss them too. Yeah. I just have to say, I love the picture of the peas and carrots shirts. They Apparently they love the Forrest Gump movie, which I do too. I just thought that was so cute. So there's still a lot of change in the works for Mike, and one of those changes is including a new home that he and Robin will be moving into next month that they can modify to be able to be more accessible for him. Now, Alicia, his birthday is next month, too. He's turning 38, and it looks like they do. They've got a lot to celebrate.